Okay, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Defla. So, in this video, uh, I will explain for PBT2 for the topic HSRP. Alright, so we go to the rubric. Okay, the first one is the network diagram and the addressing table for design and build the network. So, uh, it might include the VLAN table and the addressing table, physical diagram and logical diagram. So, we go to the packet tracer. So as you can see, uh, this is my logical diagram. So um, I have uh, one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven network in this uh, logical diagram. As you can see, and I have two switch and three PC. And for the PC A is VLAN ten, and the PC uh, PC C is VLAN twenty. Then we go to the physical layer, uh, physical diagram. So as you can see, three PC and two switch two switch switch one switch two r1 r2 and r3 okay so we go back so as you can see uh this is my this is my uh addressing table for r1 r2 and r3 as you can see for r1 uh, i'm using the uh, inter vlan <coughs> then the r3 i also use the inter vlan and for the switch, I configure for the SPI, which is the VLAN 99 interface. Then 3 PC, we are using the DHCP. <coughs> then as you can see, VLAN 10, VLAN 20, and VLAN 99. VLAN 10 is named stuff, and the uh, VLAN 20 is uh, JPMK, and the uh, VLAN 99 is uh, management. For the VLAN 10, we are using the port. <coughs> So as you can see, we go to the uh, logical diagram. <coughs> as you can see, uh, this is my uh, network table, I, IP address table for R1, R2, and R3. And for R1, I'm using the intervillain. And for the R2, I configure for uh, loopback interface. And for R3, is also using the uh, intervillain and the switch using the interface uh, SVI. Then for VLAN 99 and for PCA, PCB, and PCC using the DHCP. So um, as you can see, uh, now here has the VLAN, uh, VLAN 10, VLAN 20, and VLAN 99. Name staff, JTMK, and management. And for the switch one, uh, the VLAN port is the F0610. And for the VLAN 2, is also F0610. For the VLAN 99, we're using interface uh, VLAN 99. So we go back here. Uh, I already explained for the uh, part one. Okay, now guys, uh, I want to uh, explain for the part two configure basic command. So I need to uh, done for the basic command with the SCP and switch between interface and secure remote access. <coughs> so we go to the uh, packet tracer. So we using we maybe can using the R2. Okay. So as you can see, uh, I done for the uh, the banner MOTD. Unauthorized access to this device is prohibited. Then the user access verification for the console password Cisco and the enable password. Okay. So as you can see. The host name is R2 that I, that I um the end sign. So uh, we can using the show run. Okay. So as you can see, uh, I have configured for the uh, pass service password encryption. Then I configure for uh, IP SSH version two and no IP domain lookup. And later I will show the function for the no IP domain lookup. Okay, uh, other than that, I also configure for the the um, login synchronize. The login synchronize is to prevent every login output from immediately interrupting uh, with uh, our console session. So now I want to show the function for the uh, no IP domain lookup. So if I 
<coughs> if I press the invalid command, okay, so the router is uh, okay. So if I press the invalid command, as you can see, uh, it's translating the invalid command and unknown command or computer name or unable to find the computer address. So if if I don't configure the invalid uh, the no IP domain lookup, it will be like. Okay, so I show you the function if I don't configure for no IP domain lookup. Okay, so it will translate the invalid command domain server and to find to find to find to find. So we don't want to like uh, to be like this. So we need to configure the no IP domain lookup. The no IP domain lookup is tell the router to stop interacting with any DNS server entirely. Okay, so uh, we delete. Okay, so we go back to the Atru. Okay, so now um. I want to verify that the IP that I assign. So uh, maybe you can use the R1 to show. Okay, Cisco and password is Cisco and the password is plus. Then show IP interface brief. Okay, so as you can see, uh, for the for the interviran g 0.10.20.99 so this is the ip for the first network is uh, 10.76.30.1 and .65 and the vlan 99 for 10.76.99.1 so the series 0 0 0 is the public address so uh, this is uh, the ip that i signed in the r1 so um other than that, uh, I think I can show the VLAN. That I assign for the switch. Okay. Cisco. Enable. Plus. Okay, so maybe I can use the show VLAN. So as you can see, uh, for, the <coughs> for the switch one, I have the interface uh, F0 says 10. So as you can see, uh, the VLAN 10 name staff is active and is the F0 slash 10. So then we can use the show interface trunk. So as you can see, show interface trunk. So as you can see, the port for the uh, F0 slash 1 and F0 slash 5 is going to the, the F0 slash 1 is going to the router. F0 slash 5 is going to the switch. So as you can see, the status is shrunking. Okay. Okay. So now, um, I think I can go to the R one. Uh, I want to show. Uh, I can go to the R two. I want to show the uh, the routing table. So for R two, I'm using the show run uh, I configure for the router IP so I can use the command call show IP route RIP so as you can see for the R1 I learned the different network from R1 and R3 which is the uh, 10.76.30.0 is the first subnet and the 10.76.30.64 is for the second subnet Okay, now uh, I want to verify the DSCP that I assigned. So as you can see, uh, DSCP and security access then uh, switch which switch uh, switch between the face. Okay, so we go to maybe we go to the R two. Then we using the commands for show IP DSCP pool. Okay. So as you can see, for the R2, I uh, configure one pool is for the uh, network for PCB. So as you can see, uh, the pool is R2 LAN. Okay, so uh, we go to the PCB, then we try to get the IP using uh, DSCP. So as you can see, it's successful. Then we we can using PC. We try to using PCA to get the IP. 
for the first Sunnet, which is the VLAN 10. Okay. So as you can see, it's successful as well. Okay, nice, successful. So. Other than that, uh, I will I will show for the uh, SVI, which is the the switch V two interface. So we go to the switch one. We can using the commands called show uh, interface. So IP interface brief face brief. So as you can see, for the switch, I configure for uh, interface VLAN ninety nine and ten dot uh, seventy six. Dot ninety nine dot three. Then we go to the switch two. We using uh, the same command. Okay, so as you can see, uh, for the VLAN ninety nine interface, then ten dot seventy six dot ninety nine dot four. All right. So other than that, uh, I already explained for the DSCP and secure remote access. Now, uh, the switch between interface. Now, I want to explain the secure remote access. Okay. Now, uh, I want to uh, try the secure remote access. I'm using the SSH from the PCA. So, uh, first, uh, we can go to the switch one. And as you can see, you can use show IP SSH. So as you can see, the uh, SSH is enabled and version two. Then we go to the uh, PCA. Then we try to uh, we try to remove all the device for the switch and the router. So first, we need ping the gateway. Uh, I think we need to ping the R1. Okay, so for the R1 gateway, not for the virtual uh, gateway, for the HSRP. Then we try to ping the R1 gateway. So it's 10.76.30.1. So as you can see, the connectivity is successful. Okay, now we're using the uh, command SSH, uh, option L, then admin, then the IP. Then we, go to, we can go to this uh, IP interface. Right. So PCA, okay. Then option L. First, I want to remove the router one. So the router one IP is ten dot seventy six dot one dot the thirty dot one. So as you can see, the connectivity is successful. Then we try to remove. The uh, R two, so R two IP is one two nine. Sorry, option L uh, SSH. Okay, so as you can see, uh, R two is successful. Okay, so now we try to remove the R three. Exchange option L admin ten dot seventy six dot thirty dot two. So as you can see, it's successful. Actually, successful. And now we try to remove the switch one. So ten uh, SSH dot L admin ten dot seventy six dot ninety nine dot three. So as you can see, it's successful. Now we try to remove the switch two. So as you can see, successful as well. So we are done for the uh, verify the SSH. Now we already can go to the uh, part three. Okay, so for part three, configure the FHRP and for the HSRP, then student able to configure the complete FHRP with HR, uh, HSRP priority and the premium. Okay, so we go to the <coughs> we go to the packet tracer. So first, uh, I will go to the R one. Then 
uh, later I will show the differentiation between R1 and R3 uh, FHSRP so we can use the command is called um, for the show standby okay sorry okay so as you can see here for the uh, for the R1 I configure for the standby for HSRP uh, I configure for the G0 slash 1 dot 10 is group 1 and the state is the state as is active uh, later I will explain what is active then mm, the preemption preemptions is enabled then um, the standby router is 10.76.30.2 which is the uh, R3 then I also configure for priority as uh, 150 okay so second one uh, other than, uh, by the way uh, this is the VLAN 10 then I also configure for the VLAN 20 so as you can see G0 says uh, G0 slash 1.20 uh, also configured as group 1 so as you can see uh, the the state is standby okay so later I will explain what is the uh, why the G0 slash 1.20 uh, for group 1 is standby for VLAN 20 uh, later I will explain so as you can see uh, this is the virtual IP okay virtual IP for VLAN 20 uh, device Okay, so you can see this is the uh, virtual IP for the uh, VLAN 10 device. So as you can see here, um, so the preemption, the preemption for the R1 for the VLAN 20 is off. Okay, later I will explain for the uh, preemption as well. So um, so as you can see, uh, this is active router. Uh, so the active router for the VLAN 20 is the R3. Okay, so the standby router is local and the priority uh, using default 100 for the VLAN 20. So we <coughs> we open the R3. Okay, this is go enable. Okay, show standby. Okay, so as you can see from the R3, uh, now it's R3, as you can see, R3. Okay, for the R3, uh, I also configure for G0 slash 1.10 is for the VLAN 10. So in R3, the VLAN 10, the state is uh, is standby, but in R1, is active. Okay, so, <coughs> so as you can see, the virtual IP for the VLAN 10 is 10.76.30.62 is same with the R1, uh, is same with the uh, the VLAN 10 device. So as you can see, I go to the PCA. So as you can see, the v default gateway is 10.76.30.72 at this uh, 62. So as you can see, same right. Okay. So um, the preemption is disabled. Okay. For the R3, for the R3, uh, for the Go uh, VLAN 10, the preemption is disabled, but in R1 is enabled. Okay, so the active router for the VLAN 10 in R3, okay, so is R1. Okay, so active router 10.76.30.2, so it's R1. Okay, um, the priority for the for the VLAN 10 is uh, using the default 100, but in R1 is using the 150. Uh, later, I will explain as well. Okay, so as you can see in R3, the VLAN 20, uh, the state is the state is active but in our one is uh, standby okay then this is the uh, virtual IP for the uh, VLAN 20 so as you can see 10.76.30.126 so as you can see here <coughs> 10 76 and 126 okay so you can see same right okay uh, under the net as you can see the preemption preemption for the VLAN 20 is enabled uh, later I will explain okay so the standby router is 10.76.30.65 okay all right so the priority for the VLAN 20 is 150 and but for the R1 so I open I open both so maybe you can see so as you can see the different section okay so the in R1 the R1 the uh, VLAN 10 okay VLAN 10 
is group 1 and the state is active but in the R2 is standby okay so you can see here in uh, in R1 the VLAN 20 VLAN 20 for G0 slash 1.20 so VLAN 20 the state is standby okay but in R3 the state is active uh, later I will explain the flow okay okay um, now right uh, so the preemption is stable but in the R3 the preemption is enabled then priority is 150 but in R1 for the VLAN 20 the priority is 100 okay later I will explain as well Okay, now I want to show the flow for the SHRP for the VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Okay, so now I want to show the flow for the HSRP for the VLAN uh, 10 and VLAN 20. So uh, we open the R1. So as you can see, for the VLAN 10, we just only see, uh, we only uh, verify for the uh, VLAN 10 first. Okay, so as you can see, the, uh, the state for the R1 is active. Why? because the priority is 150 and the R3 VLAN 10 the state is standby okay because why because the, one, uh, the, the priority is 100 so uh, the R1 will be the main router for VLAN 10 okay now um, we, oh, we can see here the preemption is enabled and the R3 for the VLAN 10 the preemption is disabled what is pre pre preemption? Preemption is like uh, if I ping the PCA to the PCB, okay, the, the route is will be, will be like um, go to the switch one and go to the R1 and go to the R2 and go to the PCB. And the packet will be returned uh, from PCB uh, to router 2 to router 1 and go to the switch one and go to the uh, PCA. Okay, but if the uh, R1 is broken, is the R1 is broken, uh, PCA will go to the uh, switch 1 and will go to the switch 2 and go to the R3 and go to the R2 and go to the PCB and the packet will be returned to PCB, uh, from PCB to, PC, uh, to router 2 for route, and router 3 and switch 2 and go to the switch 1 back and go to the PCA alright but if what if uh, the router 1 is recovery okay so if the R1 uh, already recovery okay so the prevention function okay will change back the PCA uh, to the orig original route it means uh, the PCA will be go to the switch uh, the, go to the switch one and go to the R1 and go to the R2 we go to the PCB back we go uh, to the original route okay it's not uh, going to the backup route okay so uh, I, maybe I can use the uh, simulation to show you. Okay. So, okay. So as you can see, uh, the R1 is the active. Then the R3 is standby for the VLAN 10. So I ping for the VLAN 10 to uh, PCB. So I can show you the route. Okay. So go to the switch one, and, and go to the R1. And because two here has the two packet because. Uh, this is switch and this switch will be do the broadcast but don't worry okay so we go so as you can see the R1 is going to R2 but in R3 uh, it cannot access because the priority is 100 and the R1 priority is 150 so it will follow the 150 uh, priority for the R1 okay so the R1 is the main router for the VLAN 10 okay so we go to the PCB and go to the uh, from PCB and go to the R2 back okay then go to the uh, R3 okay right doesn't matter okay right okay uh, maybe I keep uh, maybe I can ping uh, one more time so as you can see you can see the route okay let's go to the switch one and go to the R1 and go to the uh, router 2 and go to the PCB Okay, then go to the uh, go to the R1 back. So as you can see, go to the R1 back. Okay, so go to the switch one and go to the PCA. So as you can see, the connectivity is successful. Okay, now what if what if I delete for the uh, this interface? Okay, what if I delete? Okay, so as you can see, I already delete. 
So now I can try to use PCA to ping the PCB. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the flow change the uh, switch to go to the artery. Then the artery can accept the the PCA and the go to the artery. Then we go to the artery. Okay, then we're using the command is called show uh, standby brief. So as you can see, for the artery, it also changed uh, from the standby to the active because uh, the this this is the face is already broken, so the artery will be the active. Okay, so we continue. So R two and PCB and go to the R2 back and go to the R3 and go to the switch 2 and switch 1 and the PC1 back PC A back so as you can see the connectivity is successful so if I if I use the if I recovery the uh, the interface okay. if I recover the, the interface well, maybe I uh, can use the fast forward. Okay, if I recovery the interface, the preemption function will be work. So if I ping the PCA to the PCB, so as you can see, the router, the packet will go to the uh, PCA to switch one and R one and go to the R two. Then it's not going back to the uh, backup port is like PCA, PC, uh, switch one, and switch two and R three. Okay, so the preemption is work. Okay, all right. So as you can see, maybe I can explain the preemption uh, uh, clearly. Okay, the preemption is like uh, when the when the main router is broken, it will go to the uh, standby router. Then, if the original router is recovery, then the PCA will follow the original path. It's not going to follow the uh, backup path. Okay, so uh, this is the function for the preemption. Okay, so now uh, I want to show you for the VLAN 20. Okay, for the VLAN 20, okay, as you can see, okay, I'm using show, uh, show. Standby brief. So the standby brief. Okay. So as you can see, for the VLAN ten, uh, in R three is the standby. Then, but for the VLAN twenty, the priority is one hundred fifty, and the stack is active. So it's mean what? It's mean the VLAN twenty will follow the R three path for for the R three round. So it's not going to the R1. So um, I simple conclude. Okay, the PCA is going to switch one R1, R2, and PCB. But for the for the VLAN 20 is going to switch two and R3 and R2 and PCB. So now uh, I successful to do the load balancing for the VLAN 10 and the VLAN 20. So it's not like uh, VLAN 10 is going to uh, switch 1, R1, R2, and PCB, and the VLAN 20 go to the switch 2, and go to the switch 1, and go to the R1, and go to the R2, and go to the PCB. So I want to do the load balancing, so I need to uh, give the, P uh, the VLAN 10, so go to the R1, and go to the R2, go to the PCB, and VLAN 20 will go to the switch, and go to the R3, and go to the R2, and PCB. So I successful to do the load balancing. So uh, now uh, I can uh, show the uh, simulation for the uh, VLAN 20. Okay, so before I show the uh, uh, simulation for the VLAN 20, okay, so we go to the R3. So as you can see, the the uh, the priority is 150 and the state is active. So the PCC will go into R3, R2 and PCB. So we try to ping. Okay, we just using uh, this function ping first. Okay, so.
So now I will show you if I if I delete on uh, this interface. Okay. So before that I will show you the the uh, the state is active. Okay. Then here show uh, standby brief. So as you can see uh, for the VLAN twenty for R one is standby. So what if I delete this interface? Okay. So we go back to the uh, archery then we use command show i so standby brief so as you can see uh, this both will be active okay then uh, as you can see here we're using the command show in uh, show standby brief so as you can see for the vlan 10 and vlan 20 is going the state is uh, active okay so it means if i ping i try to ping the pcc to the pcb So uh, as you can see, the HSRP is successful. Okay. So uh, for the for the uh, using command show uh, in standby. Okay. So as you can see, for the VLAN twenty in R three, and I using the uh, preemption. Okay. So if I connect back the interface. Okay. So if I recover the interface back, okay. So as you know, uh, I configure the uh, preemption for VLAN twenty for in R three. So if I ping the PCC to the PCB back, okay, uh, using the uh, simulation. Okay, so as you can see, okay, okay, wait ah, uh, okay, okay, as you can see. The PCC and the PCB uh, connectivity, uh, the path is going to the original route. So as you can see, it's going to the PCC, then the switch, go to the R3, and go to R2, and go to the PCB. Why? Because I configure for uh, the preemption. Okay, right? Okay, so as you can see, the connectivity is successful. All right, now um, I already explained for the function for the uh, the hash SSRP with the priority and the uh, the premium. Okay, uh, I think now I want to explain for the uh, I want to show the uh, co the connectivity with the workstation without uh, FHRP and F, uh, and FHRP okay okay now we try to connectivity so from PCA okay so I maybe uh, ping the gateway first so the gateway the gateway for the router is uh, as you can see here the router is 10.76.30.1 so um, ping ping 10.76 we are I close the uh, simulation okay so I put here 30.1 so as you can see the uh, the connectivity is successful now I want to try to ping the PCC okay so we go to the PCC we're using the command on uh, uh, IP config. 
So as you can see, uh, the IP is 10.76.30.76. Okay, so PCA ping. So for the VLAN 10, ping the VLAN 20. So as you can see, the connectivity are also successful from the PCA in the PCC uh, or the VLAN 10 bring the VLAN 20. Okay. So as you can see, successful. Okay. So now uh, I want to try to ping the PCB. Okay. So we go to the PCB. We using the command is called uh, IP config. So as you can see, the IP is ten dot seventy six dot thirty dot one three zero. So we copy the IP ten ping. Okay. So right. So as you can see, the connectivity is successful. Right. So now, uh, I want to show if I, uh, what if I delete the interface for the R1. Okay. So it will be like, okay. First, I want to ping the PCB. Okay. Ping. Okay. Then slash T. Okay. So if the slash T will be uh, loop for the uh, ping. So I ping for the PCB. So as you can see, uh, it will be looping non-stop. Okay, so now, what if I delete the interface uh, for the route router to switch one? Okay, so we go back to the PC one. So as you can see, the uh, the connection is request time out. Okay. Doesn't matter. We just wait. Okay. So as you can see, the the connectivity is recovery. Why? Because the PCA is going to switch one and go to the switch two and go to the R three. Okay. So you go to the backup uh, backup route. Okay. Now, uh, I want to show you the effect for the preemption. Okay. So what if I uh, I recover the I recovery the uh, the Interface back. Okay. So, oh, okay. So we just fast forward. Okay. So we go to the PCA. Okay. So as you can see, uh, request time out because uh, okay. So as you can see, it already uh, can ping, and there will be request time out uh, second time. So as you can see, uh, the interface for the R1 and switch 1 is already on. So as you can see, the connectivity is back because uh, we configure for the preamp. Okay, so I think this just for me for the uh, Pagical Task 2. So uh, thank you very much and bye bye.